Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage journey is at Arab Norman Palermo in Sicily, Italy. So we're here today in Palermo on the northern coastline of Sicily, and it's a real crossroads of the Mediterranean. It was founded as a Greek colony, but it was ruled for centuries by Byzantines from Turkey, and in 965 was conquered by Muslims from North Africa. About a century after that, it was conquered by Normans from France, and the three different cultures have really blended together to create a really unique feeling. Let's have a look around. Behind me, you can see the Palazzo Real, or the Royal Palace, here in Palermo. Now, it was originally started in the 9th century by the Muslim rulers, though very little of that building still remains. And when the Normans conquered Sicily, they rebuilt the palace in their own style and made it into the king's main seat of power. And that actually makes it the oldest royal residence anywhere in Europe. These days, it's the seat of the Sicilian parliament, and inside, there's a gorgeous chapel. Let's have a look. So this is the incredible Palatine Chapel here in the Palazzo Real, and it's the former royal chapel dating from the 12th century. And it's a fantastic example of the cross culture that we find here in Palermo, because we have Muslim uh, patterned art on the lower walls, the floors and the ceiling, and then Byzantine style frescoes on the upper walls, stories from both the Old and New Testaments. And the attention to light, color, shade and detail is just absolutely beautiful. I'm almost speechless. Behind me you can see the Cathedral of Palermo dedicated to St Mary of the Assumption. Now it dates from the 12th century built just after the Norman conquest of Sicily and it's a real eclectic mix of styles. We can see the usual Romanesque and Gothic touches but there's also a really strong Muslim influence as well. There's lots of intricate pattern work there's even a column with Arabic writing on it that was a remnant of the mosque that used to exist on this site. Now inside it's actually Baroque and it's a little bit disappointing if I'm honest, but the outside is just magnificent. Behind me are two fantastic churches. On this side, the Church of San Cataldo, and on this side, the Church of St. Mary of the Admirals. Now, they both date from the late 12th century, and they were built by the Normans in an Arab slash Byzantine style, despite this one having a Baroque facade added to the front much later. Now, inside, this one has some incredible mosaics, which we're gonna go and have a look at, so let's go. This mosaic behind me is fascinating because it shows Roger II, the Norman conqueror of Sicily, receiving the crown of Sicily directly from Jesus rather than from the Pope or any other authority. And they're both dressed in Byzantine style as well. And there's a Greek inscription above them saying, Rogerius Rex, King Roger. Well, I've had a really interesting day checking out the architecture here in Palermo. It's been fascinating to see the blend of Byzantine, Norman and Arab influences. It's actually quite uncommon, I think, to see out and out Arab style buildings while you're in a European country like Italy. But yeah, it's been fascinating to see. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage site.